If you want to know how to create these Minecraft car edits completely from scratch, this video is for you because I'll show you exactly how to generate this style of images with perfect prompts you can easily copy. I'll show you how to create different angles in a perfectly consistent environment in just one click and I'll show you how to create cinematic videos from these generated images. As a bonus, I'll give you the exact prompts of a few other Minecraft inspired images for you to recreate. If you want to follow along or you want to check out the current discounts, simply click the Hicksfield link in my description. Once we are there, we go to image, create image. And this is going to be our prompt to generate the image. Ultra realistic Minecraft inspired cinematic scene, not cartoon, a dark stone brick fortress bridge with crenellations over a raging river of bright orange lava. A glossy black modern Porsche GT3 RS with lava color underglow. Wide body low stance rear wing parked diagonally on the bridge close to camera. Blue soul lantern style lights evenly spaced along the bridge walls. Cool cyan glow contrasting with warm lava. Volumetric fog and smoke drifting through the corridor. Tiny floating embers, particles, dramatic high contrast lighting. Moody atmosphere, PBR textures, micro detail on stone blocks, moss, grime, realistic shadows, depth of field, 24mm wide lens, low angle with bridge bricks as blurred cinematic foreground. Unreal Engine, RTX shader look, 8K sharp focus on car, background softly blurred. I also added a negative prompt which will tell Hicksfield what we don't want. You can copy this if you'd like. As my AI model I used Nano Banana Pro, I select 16x9 for horizontal, if you want vertical check 9x16, 1K resolution and I'm going to create a batch of 4 images and hit generate. Once the images are generated you can click one and scrub through them to see how the results are and see if you like them. For me personally this one looks the best. If you still want to adjust your image, you can simply click the one you want to change, hit reference and simply type whatever you want to change. For example, make the Porsche glossy dark red or you can say put a Minecraft creeper behind the car or you can say give the car a cyan underglow instead of the lava underglow. You can literally change everything you want. Simply type it, change it. If you want some more inspiration, here is the exact prompt I used to generate these exact images. I'll drop everything in the description. When you are happy with the result, select your image and then open in upscale. We're going to upscale the image to make it cleaner and higher resolution for X and hit upscale. You can click compare and drag left or right to see the difference. I'm not sure how it will hold up after YouTube compression but the result is actually pretty insane. And you're going to download the image. Click the Higgsfield logo to go to the home page, scroll right and click shots. Then upload your generated image, open I'm going for a 16 by 9 aspect ratio and hit generate. With just a click it will generate several different angles in the exact same environment. Then you can select the ones you like to create a video from and we're gonna first upscale them and once they are upscaled we are going to download the images by pressing the triple dot and download. And I'm gonna do that for all the images that I want. If you don't mind to spend a few extra credits, what I like to do is to generate a few batches of multiple shots and this way I have some options to choose from for my shots for the video. Because if we check for example the second batch right here, this one generated this super cool shot with the lantern in the foreground and if we check the third batch, this one generated this super cool lava shot and the drone top-down shot and a cool headlight shot. Then I'm gonna select the shots that I want, upscale and download. To make the videos we go to video create video, change this to cling 2.6, 
or you can change it here in the model cling 2.6 cling 2.6 then we are going to drag our generated image here and as the prompt use the provided reference image to keep the environment and car exactly the same do not redesign anything camera move super slow stabilized gimbal shot constant speed no jitter camera stays low at the same height keeps the car framed as the hero smooth parallax in the background if you want slow motion you can add this slow motion requirement section i also add this look section to make sure everything stays consistent and then for the environment animation, I want the lava to slowly flow and pulse, smoke and particles slowly drift. I'm also adding a negative prompt here, which you can simply copy. Audio off, so we don't spend unnecessary credits. Five seconds long, generate. And if we check the result, it's actually pretty insane. Now, if we want to generate a video from another shot, simply swap the shot, for example, this top-down drone shot. And we are just going to change the camera movement and we are going to change the environmental animations. For this shot, I set camera move, super slow, drone shot, making perfect zoom in towards the car. And again, the result is pretty insane. For this lava shot, for the camera movement, create a cinematic ultra slow motion orbit shot around the lava. And for the environmental animation, the lava flows, moves and pulses, smoke and particles slowly drift. One stone from the side sinks into the lava extremely slow, almost not moving. For this cool lantern shot, we went with the original camera move. But here I said make sure the car has the orange lava looking underglow because in the generated image you could not see the underglow because the lantern was in the way. If you want to know how I created this glass car transition, check the video on the left. And if you want to know how I created this ultra realistic underwater car video, watch the video on the right.